Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a couple of fun projects to share with you or experiment further with stitching on cards. But today it has a fresh modern geometric take to it, I'll show you where my inspiration came from. This artist that I've been following on Instagram. Her name is Rachel Parker Designs. Check her out. She has an Etsy shop where she sells these gorgeous modern stitching art pieces and I love it. I have a few of them saved to my Instagram, you know, your saved folders and I, I've been staring at them for months thinking one of these days I want to try something similar like that on a card. And you know, I have the stitching panels that are designed for card makers and they pop all those holes into your panels and you can stitch and I've done that. And, but it makes a lot of holes. Whereas with this design, I only wanted a few isolated holes. So I'm making my own Panel. By the way, I am so sorry for my hair, my Fraggle Rock hair getting in the frame. Okay, I need to wear a hairnet. But what I did was I made a row of 11 dots, four and four, and then 11 on top. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop these where I made the tick marks with the pencil. This is a sharp, skinny needle, not, a, not an embroidery floss needle. This is a sharp one. And the reason I'm using that is because it's skinny. I wanted skinny little fine holes. Not, I could have used my retractable needle tool, but it makes a little bit thicker hole and I wanted a skinny hole. So we've got the 11, four, four, and 11. And then here's where the fun comes in. I bought some neon embroidery floss at the dollar store. It was a dollar. I mean, forget about it. And it's neon colors. So what I did was I took one single strand or thread out of the embroidery floss strand. You know how the embroidery floss has like five or six little threads all wound together? Well, I took one thread or strand out of it. I isolated it so it can be very, very skinny and fine. And there I stitch a purple diamond. Now I'm doing another purple diamond just to the left of it, this time a little bit darker thread. And you know, stitching on cards, it's been around for a while. I was late to the trend, which I usually am, but you know how it goes. Once you jump in, you jump in. Meaning I saw probably a Jennifer McGuire card and then I was like, I can't live another day unless I buy everything under the set. So then you buy all the stitching panel dies, you buy all the embroidery floss and then it sits there for months. Anyone else guilty of this? And, um, and then uh, one day you break it out and you try it and you love it. And the next thing you know, I'm buying yarn because I love the fuzzy texture. But now I'm on to the skinny, easy breezy one right here. It's always an evolution. You gotta keep it spicy in life. You know what I mean? And uh, so I'm popping this up on a white card base. And then for a sentiment, keeping it very simple. I'm using one of these reverse love sentiment strips. It says, you're my fave. I'm gonna die cut it with one of the sentiment label dies. And uh, she's getting toasty. Like I said in my previous video, it's getting warm here in Germany and we're on the third floor in our apartment building. So I've got all the windows open and my craft desk, which is in my living room. One of these days I'm gonna do a tour, but I keep thinking, you know, once I get it cleaned up, I'll do a tour. Once I get organized, I'll do a tour. Well, that's probably never gonna happen. So maybe I'll just have to do a tour of how it really looks, which is a hot mess. But I'm on my second card, by the way. I finished that one. This one, I'm kind of kicking it up a notch where, see on my first card, I did three rows of dots. On this card, I did five rows of 11 dots. So this one's gonna take a little more time, a little more love, but hopefully a lot more joy. That's what we're going for. So again, just doing some diamonds, you know, stitching them up. And I isolated that single strand of embroidery floss, so it's very skinny. Easy breezy is what we're going for. Okay, by the way, back to the hotness. So my craft desk is in the living room. I've got a window to my, big window to my right, big door to my left, I got them both open, so I'm standing in a wind tunnel. Embroidery floss is flying off the desk, and I'm just stitching away, having a time. I don't know if you've seen a previous video back a while where I tried to get my family in on the stitching game. Didn't really take. They didn't love it, but they gave it a shot. Now I, on the other hand, I think it's got a little more life left into it. Now that I see these geometric designs with lots of white space and the neon, forget about it. What do you think? I mean, does it inspire you to give it a try? Or are you like, you know what, Laura? You have fun with that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Either way, stay cool, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.